Rare McCoy 411. I'm going to be introducing my fermenting now for four days rice water that I made up for me. Um, I put a little extra things in it. I put a little lavender oil. I went on and put that in there for the smell. Um, see if that's if it comes out clear, but that is lavender oil, okay? Just essential oil. And I put a little honey in each one of mine as well because I've heard the benefits of just honey. Okay, guys, I'm back. I've taken my shower. I have washed my hair. I have rice rinsed and conditioned my hair. And know that I'm using the Biotin Boost. So, first of all, I shampooed with this. Okay. And I conditioned with this. So, I put the thickening conditioner on my hair with the rice water still in it. And I worked it in and I worked it in. And I let it set for like four minutes. And went on and did what I had to do. And I got out and... Let's see if I still got hair on my head. What I'm going to do now, since it's late, is... Oh. I still got hair on my head. It didn't fall out. It didn't fall out. Okay. I, um... My hair, it feels... It's not going to be thick that fast, but my hair does feel conditioned. And I know that's part of the shampoo too. And since I have been using the conditioner and the shampoo, I have been, my hair has been feeling tired. Main choice. My growth oil. I put a little in my hands. Work it into my hair. And my hair feels so good. So good. Oh my goodness. Y'all seriously, look at there. My hair has grown so freaking much. And if I can get it to grow down instead of out, I'll be good. I've added my oil and I'm tired. You get tired sometimes, so you just make sure you take care of your hair before you get too tired. Because these pineapple trees are going to go up right now. And I'll put them in a little, you know, a little ball just to do that. Yep. And then I'll come over here and I'll do this side over here. Calm it out real good. So now I am good to go, guys. This is my little updo. For at night time, I've added my liquid, I've added my cream, I've done my rice wash, I've added my main choice growth oil, sometimes it don't hurt. When I first did the oil, I went down each and every part of my hair. Each and every part of my hair. So. And just to seal in the moisture. When I do my wash nights. When I do. When I wash my hair. I always. Get me a little plastic bag and put it on my hair 
so it can seal the moisture for that night. That after wash night, that's the only night that I, I seal in all the moisture because I know I'm going to be doing my washing goes after that. My little wet and I, I don't have a chance to deep, deep condition it like this. So to me, this is my deep conditioning. Products, products I used. Rice water. Biotin boost, shampoo and conditioner, thicker, thickening. In my rice water, I had honey and I added some lavender essential oil for the smell because it's wrong. It, it, it is wrong. My LCO method on wash nights, liquid, cream. My milk, that's my seed. My oil, my main choice, growth oil. My hair, in a good night protector style with a plastic bag in it, sealing in all the moisture. I will see you guys in the morning when I get ready to style. Have a good one. Okay guys, it's the next day sections that I have wet them with warm water and the product that I'm going to be using for my wash and go style is the flat Auntie Jackie's Curls and Coils Flaxseed Recipes Don't Shrink Flaxseed elongate, Elongating Curling Gel Okay That's what I'm going to be using if you are new to this channel, welcome. You are witnessing my natural hair journey. And I am Real McCoy 411. And my natural hair journey is from start to begin start to end. So I'm gonna show you guys as I learn about my hair how I'm gonna produce my healthy and longer than what I started with hair. Okay? I'm going to take a little gel, black seed. I don't know why they do this, because you still can't see it, because it's clear. <laughs> but, I'm going to go ahead and apply it in sections to the back. Now, because I, because I do have coarse hair, and my hair is high in density. I have to use a little more products than you would have to use if you had normal hair. Okay? So, if you see me putting on just a little bit more than normal, once again, it's because I have coarse high density, low porosity hair. With low porosity hair, my hair tends to have a hard time absorbing moisture, but once it does, it's in there. And it'll stay. You just gotta get it in there. So that's why the first thing I always do is I put warm water in my hair and that's to open up my shafts okay I had already uh, last night I did a deep wash and condition so my hair was already it's already sectioned off so I am doing smaller pieces than what I would normally do because I'm going to be wearing this wash and go down really with no protective style so once again I saturate my my hair in warm water to go ahead and open up those pores and those shafts and then I apply 
my product heavy handedly and that's just what works for me so um I was thinking and I was watching all you know I, I, I always tell you guys that I watch a lot of videos and I want you to know that I watch a lot of videos to get a lot of information uh, from different people. Not all information applies to me and my hair type. So, when I watch videos and I take one of their regimens and I use one of their regimens on my hair, it's only because I feel as though their hair type is close to mine. So, and then I try the regimen before I actually start implementing it on my hair. Okay? I'm using the LCO method, which is my liquid for my which is my warm water. My cream is going to be the gel. And the oil I already have in my hair from last night. Okay. So I'm showing you pieces of what my curl pattern looks like. My curl pattern, I really am, I, I'm really thinking about not saying, okay, I have this type of hair and this type of hair and this type of hair. Because my hair varies from day to day. When I have, when my hair is washed without product, then I have definitely for a a hair and I say 3C 4A because even when I don't have products in my hair you can still see a curl pattern okay so I take little bit of pieces make sure I get my my roots and then I take more product and I add it to my hair and I always test my products out to make sure that they're going to work together with what I already have on my hair. I don't have much tangle. And when I do that, I'm just trying to loosen up my curls because I don't want to go back in touch them. You can't over manipulate your hair. And I had been over manipulating my hair. I kept rubbing it and rubbing it, rubbing it and rubbing it and it was just getting, my curls were just going bye bye in certain spots. So So, um, a couple of things I'm going to share with you guys, um, and this is just basic natural hair information that I obtained uh, from watching a YouTuber named Hafrican, it's H-A-L-F-R-I-C-A-N, so it's Hafrican and Beauty. B-E-A-U-T-E. -E. Hafferton Beauty. I watched her last night and I got a lot of good information. And she didn't just cover her hair type. She covered all the hair types. And she covered um, 
ways you can tell. She it was it was a great great video, great video. So I'm gonna be putting her name down below. I really suggest that you check out her page um, because she has a lot of information, a lot, a lot of information. Okay, I'm going to have this last piece. How I'm going to style my hair at this particular point, I really don't know. But I'm not going to put it up in my space puffs. I really just want to wear my hair loose today. So, we will see. Once again, warm. Warm water. Very important for low porosity. I don't know. It could be very important for high porosity. But I'm not studying high porosity. And guys, when you're watching, when you're just getting started on your journey, you see so many different hairs and so many different hair types and so many different regimens that people do. And... You just go, you go, and I did it, I know for a fact. I just go and I, I watch, and it's like, I'm like, okay, that's the style I'm going to get. That's right there. That's that's what I'm going to do right there. I'm going to do that to my hair. I'm going to do that to my hair. And you don't know, you don't even know what type of hair type they have. You don't know what their regimen is. You don't, you don't know. So you have to figure out and fall in love with your hair. You have to fall in love with your hair. I cannot stress that enough. You have to educate yourself on your hair. Because your hair is what you're going to be having to take care of. Your hair is what's sitting on top of your head. And the more you take care of your hair the better your hair is going to turn out, the healthier your hair is going to turn out. As far as me, I'm picking up more density. I'm picking up more coarse. My coarse hair is really starting to flourish since I've started taking care of my hair. So I've just been in the process of high density hair, low porosity hair, um, what other um, type three type type three C four A hair? These are the things that I focus on when I'm doing my hair. And I want my curls to just be crazy today. So I do know that. Um, watching Dominique, her name is Dominique, her last name I can't pronounce it, so I say Dacres, but it's D-A-C-R-E-S. I absolutely love watching her videos. I love watching her videos, you guys, because she has TWA styles, and that's Teeny Weeny Afro styles, and th that right there is where I'm at uh, as far as styling my hair and everything so I use a lot of her styles and I sent her a message and I told her she's like totally my inspiration when it comes to the way she cares for her hair and most of all the way she styles her hair because when you have a teeny weeny afro <laughs> like I do it's hard coming up with ideas and ways to do your hair that just, you know, are cute. So. And I couldn't do this to my hair over a month ago. No way. So I know I'm definitely making progress on my hair. 
But I wanted you guys to see this before I got ready to go to work. And I do let my hair air dry um, until I get the right things that I need to like set up under the dryer and all that kind of stuff. So this is my final product. I have bounce. It's not like it's not stiff. I'm praying that it does not get stiff, that it stays this way. So you can see my curl pattern. I think when I say 3C, 4A, that I'm right, I think. But as I learn, it may be less than that. I don't know. We learn as we go. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on my new hair journey, my natural hair journey. And um, if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate your support. If there are some YouTubers that are OG to the game, that's been doing this for a while, that feels that they can give me some tips and information to go forward with, please, please, please leave that information below. Follow me on my journey. Help me out. I, I don't feel like this is a competition. I feel like this is a journey that we're all taking together. Um, it shouldn't be a competition because everybody's hair is different. So let's not make it a competition. Let's help each other. If we ask each other questions, let's be able to answer those questions. Don't try to, don't hold all the information in for yourself. You have a YouTube channel. So if you have a YouTube channel, you, you're putting your information out there. So you, you want to be able to help others. I mean, that... That's just me. I, I, I can't speak for everybody else. I can't and I won't speak for everybody else. But definitely help help people. I mean, if somebody sends you a question or whatever and you don't even answer the question, but you have a channel and, you know, that's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to speak on it. But I am going to say this. You all have a blessed day. Thank you so much for supporting me. Go ahead and subscribe. I love you guys. Um, I'm going to be rocking this. I'm going to see how long I can let it go. Let it rock. So I may have to put a couple bobby pins in if y'all see that. But I may not. So, alright. Love you guys. Have a great, great day.